Oh, hi, Paige. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm Vinny. Sorry, you you weren't waiting long, were you? Um, a little bit, but it wasn't your fault. I was actually just on here like filming a live vlog, so I just hopped on when I finished. Oh, what like um like a, a lockdown vlog? Yeah. Do you know what? I've seen so many people doing that on social media. So you are you okay? Sorry, I didn't say anything, did I? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just noticing how you you actually do look exactly like your profile pic. Oh, really? Yeah, that's quite rare these days. I I, I don't know. I figured um, a solo picture would work well if I could only pick one. So that's the one I went with. Well, it was a really good choice. Good lighting. Can't really take credit for that one. <laughs> so I know that guys also lie about their height on these apps. OK, don't worry, I am actually 5'9". OK, the 5'8 side of 5'9 or the 5'10 side? <laughs> I'm, I think I'd say I'm a solid 5'9". And that's how tall you are as well, aren't you? Yeah. I was just double-checking. OK, cool, yeah. <laughs> so, um, your, your outfit's really cool. Have you just done, like, a workout or something? Oh, no, no, no. This is gym slash loungewear. I literally haven't been wearing anything else in the whole of lockdown. And I've got loads of it because I'm an ambassador of the brand. Oh, so so you're like a you're like a personal trainer. That's cool. Oh no. <laughs> I I'm an influencer. Okay, influencer, wow. Like uh, like on on social media. Yeah. I started off as a model and then naturally just just became an influencer, I guess. I honestly can say that this is probably the first time I've ever met an influencer. Really? Yeah, yeah, no. And I, I listen, I want to learn more about influencers, influencing, and if, if that's what it's called, and social media. Yeah. I mean, what, what's it like to work in? What's your day-to-day -day like? Do you know what? Every time that I answer this, people just draw their own conclusions. I promise you, I'm genuinely interested, OK? And I can still judge you if it's a DOS. It is definitely not a DOS. It is a full-time job. Like, let me tell you, I have to make and stockpile content, manage interactions, like, all of that wow. sort of stuff. I do, I do feel really lucky to be doing it because, you know, I'm earning a living off of it as well, and it's, it's, it's all right. It's a good job. Of course, my goodness. It's, it's brand marketing in the most visible way possible. I think it's actually really cool. That's exactly it. You've got it. I'm going to change the subject, if you don't mind. You know, I just feel like when I'm talking about my work stuff, it's just... It's a bit shit chat, really. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. We wouldn't want that. I'm happy to change the topic of conversation. So if we weren't in lockdown, where would you take me on a first date? Ooh, I really don't want to get this wrong. I hope that I pick something that <laughs> you'd like. Um, Spit it out, mate. Come on. I'll go something active. Yeah. Outdoors if it's summer. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, li I like an activity day, actually. Uh, would you reckon mini golf or a walk or...? Which one would you prefer? No, 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 no. You have to decide. Sort of just thinking about what would be good fun for us. What are you saying? Mini, mini golf. Of course mini golf. And I think there are some wicked themed ones all around London. Yeah, that would be fun, actually. But you know what? I have to warn you, all right? I, uh, I'm highly competitive. Oh, OK. Sorry, wait. Define highly. To the point that I actually have to win, like, every time. So this for you is, it, this goes beyond the date now. This is all about winning. How bad is it? I don't think I've ever lost. That's really interesting. I didn't realise you'd be so competitive. Mm -hmm. Fight and talk. That's just what I'd expect from a woman who lives in gym gear. OK. <laughs> wow. Cocky, Mark. No, 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 listen. No, 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 not cocky at all. I just know that I'd rock up in jeans and a T-shirt. And yeah, it's still about you. Listen to you go. But you know what? Pride comes right before a fall. So I've never heard that saying before because I've never actually fallen before. Oh, wow. OK. Anyway, there is quite a lot I've been wondering. Do you usually use dating apps? Do you know what? No, not really. But I've just been 
using it as, as a lockdown boredom cure, really. Yeah. What about you? Uh, the main reason would probably be... Um... I mean, we're all guilty of it, you know, and it's, it's literally the weirdest time. Even before lockdown, I wasn't really meeting women that I connected with. No, so this was, this was kind of always on the cards. Do you know why you weren't meeting particularly cool women before lockdown? You know, like... <laughs> like you, of course. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, like, it's not like there aren't loads of women looking for a decent guy at the moment, you know? For some reason, they just haven't picked me yet. We're on the hunt. If I'm really honest, just work. Work. OK. What, like, the workload or the women at work? Were they not cutting it or...? Probably a bit of both, if I'm honest. I can actually relate to that because... I can't date anyone, anyone in my industry anymore. Oh, can you like, not? I literally won't. I refuse. Um, yeah. I mean, not only is it just we're too obsessed over the same things and it's just oh, too much, but it, it, it really attracts the most trash personalities, if I'm being honest. Really? I, it's, just, it's such a shame to hear that that's how the, your industry works. Yeah. People with big egos, people with like, no depth, people that just think they are God's gift. But hopefully I can, this is a nice change. Yeah. Talking to someone who's not in your usual world, you know? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you've actually been uh, all on your lonesome during this lockdown. Is that right? Yeah, you are correct. Yeah? Okay, cool. Lost your, your marbles yet? Oh, long ago. I mean, no one deserves to be cooped up in this flat for this long. Oh, yeah, I feel your pain. We've been locked up for a while too. Do you know what? I think it would be quite a nice idea to see each other's flats. Like a, a tour? Or... I assume it's been so long since you've seen someone else's place and I haven't seen someone else's place in what feels like forever. Feels like it's been 10 years. Well, listen, I could give you a tour of my abode if, you, if you're interested. You know what? I am, actually, because it would be refreshing to see someone else's prison. Great. OK, cool. Yeah. Let me show you around. Let's do it. OK, left first. All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is sort of my main chill space, if you will. And OK. Trophies, because I think I was a winner at some point in life. Um, Again, nothing to write home about, but it's my home. I can see that, you know, the decor is a bit, ooh, and... I think you probably could have done with my help choosing the furniture, right? That is savage. What's going on there? You don't like the sofa? I'm just being real, like... You, do you actually think it's that shabby? I, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm being very honest, but... I mean, I don't really think you'd be saying that if you were here. I'm what? Because this is one of the comfiest sofas ever. This is great. This is great for napping and it's good for cuddling as well and spooning. And... You, you need to study on, all right? Oh, no, no, I forgot. Oh, my goodness. It's not good for ab crunches, so it, it doesn't actually cater to your needs. Oh, oh my God. Stop it. You've got me all wrong. Maybe we should, uh, we should move on and I should show you something different. Maybe I'll show you my kitchen. Oh, my, you've got to see my kitchen. OK, yeah, oh, that's an important one for me. Okay, um, so yeah, this is my uh, my kitchen, and I've nearly burned it down a few times. Yeah, I mean, it could do with a bit of a tidy, but you know what? I would actually cook something there. Yeah, um, it's good. It's a decent kitchen. Yeah, but show us what we all want to see then. What's in the fridge? Fridge. You want to see the fridge? I mean, you've kind of caught me on a good day because I just did a bit of a weekly shop. Um, Okay, so what's it, what's it filled with? Um, would you say you eat clean or...? This is always a good question, isn't it? Um, okay, kind of looking at the contents of the fridge now, um, I'd say I tend to eat quite clean, yeah. Yeah, same. I mean, the salad drawer is pretty much always full. We're like food twins. <laughs> Got some nice stuff in there, some ch love chives. Um, I am the fussiest eater ever are you you know when someone else cares about what goes into their bodies like you know i appreciate that okay where do you think we're going next um i don't know it surprised me it is a surprise okay where are we going next what's the next part of this 
And last but not least, bedroom. Yay. My, uh, okay. My room. Right. Okay. Is this where the magic happens? Um, okay. During lockdown, not so much. I mean, yeah. Not for anyone in lockdown. But post lockdown, I mean, I don't know if you, if you play your cards right, then. Oh, you can do better than that, mate. Come on. No, no, okay, no, I'm not having that. You set me up for that one. Mm, I know, I just I didn't think you'd take it and go for it, really. Damn. Um, okay, let's uh, let's wrap up bedroom gates. Yeah, let's wrap. Okay. Wrap that up. Okay, and that concludes our tour. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not really sure if my decorating Yeah, you don't know what you're doing, like, do you? No. <laughs> you need my help. No. <laughs> Did you get the furniture from like a jumble sale or? Don't, don't, no. <laughs> this is good furniture, I'll have you know. This is good furniture. Well, I hope, uh, I hope this um, digital date has brought back your sanity a little bit. I think it's actually made things worse. Oh, <laughs> shut up. No, honestly, I have actually, um, I've really enjoyed it more than, m way more than I thought I would. So, uh, yeah, thanks. No, thank you. It's been, uh, it's been great. I've, I've had a wicked time. Bye. Bye. Whoa, quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So Paige was this uh, really tough model influencer type. Right. How'd you manage? Do you know what? I think we have some pretty great chemistry. Yeah. You're the man, Vin. You're the man. Usually it's me, but now it's you. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. It's never you. You've never been the man. You never... <laughs> I've been the man since I was born. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. I'm, I'm glad. I think I, I definitely. It's not Paige Lee, is it? Who's that? Bruv, she is big. Even I follow her, for goodness sake. Okay, hold on. Let me check. This guy is dating. Paige Lee. Oh. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll check. Hold on. I didn't realize that she had this many followers. Wow. Damn. Tell me you didn't go on a video date with, with, with Paige Lee. I went on a video date with Paige Lee. You're a prick. Get off, <laughs> get off, get off. How do I hang this up? Get off. I don't want you. I don't do want you. What? I don't want to talk to you. I don't oh, talk. Bro. Why are we talking? I'm um, sorry. Why Hold are we on. talking um, right now? Do, do you have lippers calling me? Do, do you have lippers calling me? Sorry. <laughs> But listen, thank you for your help, and I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow, yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. Yo, what are you doing? Just getting some vitamin D. There's a lovely bit of sunlight coming through my window there. It looks like lockdown has broken you. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I know that you're just calling me to talk about your digital dating adventures, yeah? Talk about lockdown's broken me. OK, listen, listen, listen. So I've got my second date with Paige tonight, but, like, she hasn't messaged me or anything since we last spoke. So? I mean, what? Look, some women just don't at the start, yeah? Just don't let it get to you. See, women like Paige, they have plenty of options. So the last thing that she needs is you freaking out. That's a surefire way to get yourself pied. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. Look, go well, lad, yeah? As much as it pains me to see you getting on with her, I'd be honoured to call her my sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> OK, listen, just take your time, innit? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. She's not texting me back. She's not texting me back. <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Paige. Hi, hey. uh, you right? I like your, um, your lounge slash gym wear. <laughs> Thank you. You're a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, I, um, 
I uh, I also checked out your social media. Did you? You stalked me. No, 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 no. It's not stalking if social media is a part of your job. So. Okay, yeah, I get you. I mean, I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, yeah, because it's it's gonna look like that for a while. What? Are you taking a break or something? No, it's just like I'm I'm literally struggling for content right now. Like, I don't really know what to post. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, look, you had no problem coming up with a good game for us to play tonight. Did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> I love this game. I feel like you find out the weirdest, just craziest stuff about people. No, I'm quite excited to see what truths come out. So, should we get playing? Mm, me too. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right, Absolutely. cool, wicked. All right. All right, should I take it away? Yeah, 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 yeah no, cool, you, cool, do, cool. you go first. All right. Okay, would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Okay, no, 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 ladies first, you go. No, 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 I want to hear what you have to say. All right, cool, I'm trying to think of all the things that you'd have, like, that would be difficult to do. Let's just quick fire round, like... Okay, um, I'm going to say purely for practicality, I'd rather have hands for feet. That has to be the only option. Oh, my gosh, why? Well, hands have so much more flexibility. So imagine all of the things you could... Like all the climbing you could do, you like a, like a monkey. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, and retraining your feet would be way harder, I think. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I have to say, for me, it's the exact opposite. You would rather have feet for hands than hands for feet. I prefer the way that my feet look, and I have done the odd, foot modelling shoot too. Of course, you have. I won't lie. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I just saw your hands there and they don't look that bad to me, so I think that you'll be all right either way, to be honest. Oh, that's nice, but honestly, I get daily, and I mean daily, DMs requesting pictures of my feet. You said, I just, the yeah. internet, man, it's just... The internet, <laughs> blowing my mind. Yeah. Cool, should we do the next one? Yeah, let's do it. You take it away. Um, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? What what does silver tongue mean again? I know that a golden voice is that you have a great singing voice, but what? Yeah, 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 yeah. But silver tongue it means that you've got the best chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. You thank be able you. To sing or be able to talk to girls. I mean, it would help even right now. So I'm just thinking. What's... <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, honey. <laughs> I think that having the gift of the gab is always preferable. And obviously that's because you, you sort of have shit chat, don't you? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. listen, you wouldn't be able to handle my best chat, so it just looks that way. <laughs> that's actually a good one. <laughs> for me, I would have to say I would go for the golden tongue. Um, because... <laughs> voice, I mean golden voice. Whoa, whoa I was gonna what's say. Going on? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I was like, okay, um, what are your reasons for golden voice? Okay, right. So basically, I've always wished that I could sing. Um, and I just feel like, you know, with musicians, the fact that they can go anywhere, anytime, and make music, that's just, that's the sickest thing ever. Do you know, I, I think I'd actually do really well as a busker because I've already got the aesthetic down. Do you reckon? Because from here, you don't look like a busker at all. No, no, no. I actually clean up quite well, I assure you. Whoa, wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Next question. All right, Next. cool. All right, okay, I'll click it. Okay, um... Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather hear terrible dirty talk during sex or have sex in complete silence? Oh, wow. Um, oh. I literally cannot wait to hear what you're going to say. Are we getting into this territory? Only because of the game. Okay, any form of dirty talk is definitely better than just complete silence. I can't think of anything weirder. Mm, no, it's definitely not. Bad dirty talk, listen to me, is the biggest turn off. Like, I actually don't understand why guys think it's okay to talk during intimacy. What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? You know when it's like kissing and then chat and then you get to grinding, but then he brings it back to the chat and then sex, but then chat It's like, why don't you just enjoy the feeling? No, no, I didn't realise that you were into some sort of weird robotic library sex. Uh, excuse me, it's not weird and it's not robotic. And actually, the only sound that needs to be heard 
is moaning. No, but this is the, the, the either or is complete silence. So there's going to be no sound. Yeah, I know. And I'm sticking by my answer. And I'm moving on to the next one. Um, Thank you. You're the weirdo. OK, cool. I got the next one. Would you rather only have sex with the first or last person that you did it with? OK. First or last person. Only then. I think that means forever. That is some bad question for me. That's a horrible question. My options are dire. Shall I go first? Please, please do. OK, um, OK, well, my first was actually surprisingly good and special, so this is quite an easy one for me. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I think for me, it would probably be my first as well. OK, cool. Was it, was it good too? No, it was shocking, actually, but my last was a non-starter, so... Yeah. OK. Hmm. That's fine, we don't need to talk about that. Why don't we, uh, let's just move on to the next question. Should we move on? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> yes, it. please. Okay, cool. Um, yes. Go on, I'll click it. Um, okay, would you rather have a baby tomorrow or not have one for another 15 years? Wow. What would you choose? Baby tomorrow, like baby in your arms tomorrow, and that's it, you have to mm. look after that baby, or just 15 years, no babies? Which one would you choose? I can comfortably say that I'm nowhere near ready for fatherhood. Yeah, 15 years might be too long, but I think it's definitely the lesser of two evils, to be honest. <laughs> evils. Yeah. Is, is that what you see it as, is it? Well, no, no, I don't, it's not that I see you having a child as evil, it's just more, just the saying that... You just said evils, lesser of... The two, so. Do you mind if we call it a day on the game there? Um, of course. Is it... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're right. You do kind of learn some weird shit about people in these games. I think when it comes to the weirdo out of us two, it actually might not be you. <laughs> Vinny, I am, I'm really sorry if I came across as a bit cold uh, when we first started talking. Listen, Paige, I understand, OK? You had your guard up and... It's fine. I just, I find it really hard to, to trust people and get into them. You know, I've, I've, I've tended to fall for a lot of facades in the past. Um, and listen, dating is all about facades at the start, but what, what really matters is that you like what you see once they've slipped. Yeah, but the point is, you know, people can keep up their facades for way longer than just the dating period. You know, yeah. sometimes even years and, you know, then it's too late. So... You've been stung in the past, haven't you? I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, it's why I do I do have my high standards, you know? I know what I like physically, um, yeah. but, you know, naturally, I am sceptical about personalities, you know, until I've got a better measure of them. OK, I have a question for you then. Um, what do you think of my personality? I would say that... Um, I'm, I've got a go. Was that, Paige, was that a, was that a baby? Um, yeah, it, it's my daughter. I'm sorry, Vinny. No, that... A baby? Are you sure? Yeah, it's a pretty unmistakable sound. She's a single mother. Who cares? You know, how did the date itself go? Oof. You know, aside from her being her and me not knowing about that at first. Um, mm -hmm. Bro, I think she's genuinely awesome. And I think it went really well. As good as her social media, yeah? No, no, listen, her social media doesn't do her justice. She's actually just really cool. And she's also a wicked mother by the looks of things. Ah, oh, wow. That's class, man. Hey, you know what, yeah? I'm chuffed for you still. I'm happy for you, bruv. Thank you, bro. It sounds good. It genuinely does sound good. No, it is. I think it's really positive. OK, listen, it's been an eventful day, so I think I'm going to head out. All right, then, man. Hey, bro, get some good rest, relax, 
Ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. We'll get you out there. We'll get you. We will get you out there. I promise you. Please, right. please. Who knows? These wonderful girls that I meet in, they may have friends, so... May, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. That's where you'll come in. And get some wingman game going on, please. I shall. Wicked. All right, I'm going to dash. Digital dash, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. It is the big dinner tonight, boy. And what's on the menu, man? You making something healthy or unhealthy for Paige Lee? Are you referring to her by her full name? That's how I know her, bro. Should I be doing that as well? What is wrong with saying Paige Lee? No, nothing. I just, I don't know. She's just Paige to me. Oh, 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 oh sorry, sorry. Um, so I was going to go for a nutritious tuna salad. How'd you get the recipe for that? I actually got it off one of Paige's vlogs. Ah, smart lad. It looks like I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> Can you not associate me and rubbing in the same sentence? That is an added bonus too, because she won't be able to smell your tuna breath. Ah! <laughs> Tuna's good. Not as a breath, man. I ain't taking it. I'm not taking it. Uh, so, obviously, like, date three is something. No, oh, it's nothing, man. Bro, if you were on an in-person third date, you'd have to escalate. No, things. no, no. We're not on an in-person third date. We're on a digital date. So how can I escalate things? There has to be some way to do it. Well, listen, I'll play it by ear. I'll read her vibe and, I don't know, see what happens. <sighs> right. Unconventional. Good luck. OK, cool. Listen, I'm going to make a move. Um, definitely nervous. Um, but we'll debrief later, yeah? Ah, right, man, give us a bell later, and, uh, well, I might not pick up. Why not? <laughs> Your boy has only gone and gotten himself a video date. Oh, this oh, guy. Yeah. Are you serious? It's not just you. It's not just you. This is wicked. With who? Bro, when? please relax, bro. You know I like to keep it low-key with all that stuff there, man. I won't pry. Why don't you go and get yourself ready, take a deep breath, and then we'll debrief whenever you Yeah, can. yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll be calling me later. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm hanging up. <laughs> hey, you own other clothes. Hello. Uh... Don't get carried away, right? This is just me dressing casually. Oh, and are, the, yeah. are those yours as well, yeah? The ones you're folding? Yeah, they are. these are mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> but... Oh, this is... no, no. Is that your salmon? That looks so good. Thank you. It's literally all I've been eating. Um, it's been, like, my go-to. Just salmon? Yeah, I've probably eaten a, a river's worth of salmon. Do you know what? I opted for fish today as well. This is sort of my, uh, yeah, this is my tuna salad. OK, that actually looks quite good. How did you season the tuna? Oh, gosh. Um, obviously, salt and pepper. Yeah, obviously. Um, some garlic. Um, also put a bit of chilli flakes on mm -hmm. there. Oh, and I, I topped it up with just, like, a spritz, spritz of soy, soy sauce. sauce. <laughs> OK. Yeah, OK, yeah. That's the one. So which genius did you get that recipe from, mate? Oh, uh, I, I really can't say. I can't remember the sauces <laughs> on this one. So. Uh, well, at least we don't have to smell each other's um, fish breath tonight. You know, you're the second person to tell me this today. My friend was saying that earlier. Yeah, it would be a bit of a kill, wouldn't it, if you sort of leaned in for a kiss and it was like... So, um, how's Content Factory? Um... Operations have slowed. Damn. And the little one? Uh, I'm sorry if it felt like I, I kept that small detail from you. Listen, there's, I promise you there's nothing to apologise about, OK? It, I never asked and I, I should have. Yeah, but it's bad form for me. Like, she is the most important part of my life by a long mile. But, you know, I just keep it to myself. It, it's, um, it's a bit messy. Yeah. We don't need to talk about it if you don't want to. Do you know what? I'd rather just get it all out in the open now, if okay. that's all right. Yeah, no, of course. I'm, I'm all in. <sighs> OK, so she wasn't planned. Um, I was with her father since uh, we were in school. And what you would assume would have brought us closer, it actually, it broke us up. So it's just me and her now. 
listen, you guys are doing just fine, and she's so lucky to have a mother. Oh my god. Uh, if, sorry, hold on. If it's a, an emergency, take it. Uh, it's no, fine. no, 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 it's not an emergency. Okay, maybe it is. Um, um, sorry, I, I think what, I better handle this. What, what's going on? What's up? A mate of mine has his first digital date tonight. Are you serious? That's so. That's cute. That's exciting. Yeah, but the problem is he's getting cold feet. Oh my gosh, invite him in. What, with us? Yeah, 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 do it. I could give him my two cents. You never know, it could help. No, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> how do I invite him? I've never done it before. Okay, so the app introduced like uh, video calls for groups, um, for like digital double daters. Um, so you and I just okay. have to authorize him in and uh, yeah, try it, see if it works. All right, okay, give me one second. Let me just get this function open. Um... Figure it out? Okay, boom, I got it, I invited him. I think, okay, saying that you just need to accept it on your end? Okay, nice. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, you're Hey, shit, Paige Lee! Hello. What's your name? <clears throat> uh, well, my name is Callum. I'm sure my boy Vinny's probably mentioned me already. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's mentioned that you're pussying out of a, of a digital date, actually. <sighs> Look, I, I mean, video dates are just so unnatural, you know? I don't know. I mean, Paige, we're managing fine, right? Um... No, don't do that. I, I get... I guess... Okay, so I'm thinking of sending her, like, a message or, you know... Oi, listen, you are going to grow a pair and you're going to do the date, all right? You've got a really good chance right now. Women are, you know, desperate for some sort of excitement. So what's my strategy? Just be yourself. Look, there is always a strategy on the first dates, whether we like to say it or not. I mean, I... okay, I get what you're saying. Vinny, why don't you advise? Because, you know, your strategy seems to be working quite well. Me? Why are you asking me for it? No, you're way more qualified to talk about this than I am. Look, I will step in if need be, but let's see what you've got. OK, all right, uh, let's get started from the beginning. So how do I open? Like, how do I break the ice? Like... Hey, you, you, you don't want to jump in on this and... No. Yeah. That, Callum, thank you, because I feel like this is another test for me now. Um, <laughs> OK. I just say, focus on her, man. Just show her that you're interested. I don't know much about her. Uh, there must be stuff about her in her profile, though. It is basic chat to ask about her profile. No, yeah, OK, but that's what profiles are for, to generate an initial interest, and then you get into the deeper stuff. <sighs> it's making me hot, man. Oh, that's literally, Vinny is right. If you just choose, like, one, even just one or two aspects from her profile that you like, get her to elaborate on that, and then take it from there. Like, honestly, guys overthink this first line thing way too much. Mm, yeah, that's... That's true. Yeah, guys tend to do that quite a bit, to be fair. Mm. Good, uh, good advice, though, Vinny. Good start. Yeah? Uh, OK, sound. So, should we do an activity date or not? Because it could be a very memorable date if we're playing games and stuff. Um, th that could go either way, if I'm honest. Um, you know, it could have a bit of fun, laughter. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a first date, so it's tricky. You've got to really play it right. First impressions. I'm going to go with yes. I'd say some sort of activity because there are, there's lots of options. And this, this app has loads of games. Mm. Don't you think it would be a bit jarring to, like, play a game with someone that you, you don't really know or like yet? Shouldn't you really be getting to know them? Mm. Vinny talking nonsense, man. She speaks sense. Of course I do. Why is anyone even asking me then? <sighs> All right, final issue. Now, what's the crack on compliments? Oh, what do you mean by the crack? Like, should I shoot her some, and if so, how many? OK, um... Vinny, what do you reckon, babes? OK, darling, um... <laughs> OK, I'd say... Wow, <laughs> I, I really wish you guys would just stop flirting and help me. That would be, that would be great. I would say you need to be careful with them. A few carefully considered compliments never go amiss, but you need to pick your moments really carefully. Like, you don't want to compliment her first off, like, straight up. Mm -hmm. You know, what you want to do is choose something about her personality that you like, yeah. you know, her passion or her sense of humour. Oh. And then take it from there, you know? Yeah. Like, a compliment needs to be genuine, you know, not just some empty flattery. What she said. That was quite a good double team, actually, Vinny. I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Uh, enough of that. So, um, OK, all of that is noted. Um, and what about cheeky innuendo? 
No, 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 no way. Do, no, no sex talk. Are you drunk, no bro? What are you saying, to... man? Gosh, what are you talking about? All right. I've got plenty to go on. Thank you, guys. You feeling better, yeah? Much. And Paige Lee, thank you so much, Paige. I'm a big fan. <laughs> That's sweet. I hope it goes well. And listen, you don't have to call me Paige Lee every single time. Okay, I'm sorry, Paige Lee. Oh, my God. Uh, guys, I've got to shoot, yeah? Cool. Uh, all the best, and we'll debrief after. Definitely, man. Speak soon, yeah? All right, cool. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye, bye-bye. All right, peace. Debrief? Okay, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, me and my girls do it too, so I'll let you off. Do you know what? I have to say that you are really good with male advice. Do you think? Yeah, for sure. It's just how, like... I like to be treated, and, and all women to be treated, you know, as an equal, but allowed to be feminine as well. I mean, it's not an easy balance to find. But it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, it, it was hard having to hide my pregnancy and, and then my child from social media. But why hide? I mean, there's a few reasons. One, I wanted to protect her privacy anyway. And two, I don't think my fan base would would really be into it. You know, they don't follow me for that stuff. They follow me for the old me. Yeah, no, completely. I understand what you're saying. Then you, you need to protect your brand to ensure that you give your daughter a great upbringing. I understand that. Yeah, bingo. That's it. Uh, so we're kind of at the stage where we probably need to figure out whether to, to carry this on, right? Agreed. Okay, right, so I'm gonna be real with you. You know, when it comes to dating me, there isn't really a honeymoon period, you know? I'm, I'm a mother and everything else comes second. I don't really trust anyone where my daughter is concerned, so it's gonna take me a long time to actually let you in. So if that's not something that you're up for, like, I completely understand. I get it, you know? It makes sense and... Yeah. What's her name? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Iona. Iona, that is such a beautiful name. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Iona. It's why I picked it. <laughs> made sense. Uh, do you know what? T tell me more about her. I, you know, if you're willing to, I'd love to hear more about yeah, her. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, Oh God, like, where do I even start? Well, lockdown, for a starter, has literally been driving her insane, you know? She's just learnt to walk. Wow. Um, so, so she cute. really wants a big area to be able to roam around in, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I do, she and I both. And she is the most mischievous little girl, like, no. seriously, I got her like this little mini golf set. She loves, like, picking up the balls and, and throwing them everywhere. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh, do you know what? She literally loves getting this little plastic club and lobbing me in the head with it. <laughs> it really fucking hurts when she does it as well. It's a mini-golf, yeah? That's a mini-golf club. Yeah. She could, she could come on an activity date with us. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not for a while, you know? I'm a bit selective about, about who she meets. OK, well, I mean, that's no fun, but... Uh, well, I can be a killjoy, but what are mums for? I have to be very cautious, you know? I'm, uh... I'm in a really tricky place in my life right now, you know? I need to think about what's best for, for myself and my daughter long term. So I just really need to be 110% sure I don't, before I burden a man with that, you know? I, oh, I just... So, what are you saying? Oh, God, I don't know. I, I'm so sorry. Like, I know I must seem like a complete flake, like, with these mixed signals. It's just... Oh, God, if you don't want to be involved, like, I get it. It's fine. You know, of course, this conversation was going to have to happen at some point, so... Yeah, it was inevitable. I hope that you think it's worth giving this a little while longer. Yeah, that's me putting all my cards on the table there. Um, do you know what, Vinny? Like, honestly, I, I don't think you understand what these dates have meant to me. Like, I've really enjoyed them. 
I just, I, I have to admit that I just don't think it's the time for me to pursue something bigger. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. However, can I give you my number? When all of this lockdown shit's over, if you're still interested, give me a call. Yes, of course. I don't expect you to wait, because you are, you're a star. Thank you, Paige. That, uh, it means a lot to hear. No, oh, how you doing, you sexy bastard? Hey, brilliant. Yo, you and Paige Lee's advice worked a treat, fam. So, how'd you go? She put everything on hold. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey, I'm sorry to hear that, man. But it sounds like there's still, like, some hope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in time, but... OK, well, bro, bro, listen, you are back in the game now, yeah? We are going to find you the right girl, Paige Lee or not. No, I'm feeling confident after, you know, speaking to people properly now. But listen, what's going on your end? How'd everything go with your date? Yeah, so I've actually got a dash in a second because we are still chatting. You're talking right now. Have you put her on hold right now? Hey, mate, 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 mate. The conversation is flowing so good. I did not expect it, man. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, listen, hang up this call and go and talk to her. OK, cool, 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 cool. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Hey, we're going to debrief tomorrow, though, yeah? Debrief? Yeah, we'll debrief tomorrow. Cool. We'll talk about everything. Love, bro. Love, bro. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> later. Go. Later. See you later. We go again.